Hello and welcome back to Haywire Gamers, it's Jonathan here for more Valkyria Chronicles. We're going to run up some of our little reports here and get them out of the way before we move on to the main story. So, without further ado, War Without Weapons, the Darskin Hunt. We shall see what Rosie's up to. This is either just before or just after Sarah's death. Can't remember which. The battle at Nagiar is almost upon us. After them. Is there anything left to do beforehand? No, Captain. We've made due preparations. This will likely be the largest conflict you or I have seen. I want you rested and ready. So we're stepping back two episodes in time to do this one. Oh, by the way, did the Darksons who survived back in Thousand make it out all right? They should have. I told them all to evacuate to Rangreese as soon as they could. Speaking of the Darkson, I hear the Empire's begun another wave of hunts. Yeah, Rosie's not too happy about that. Darkson hunting. Well, I guess that's one way to get back the labor force they lost at Thousand. The report I read mentioned an enemy unit hunting Darksons by the border. I'm sending a squad to take care of it now. You all have earned a rest, though. Go catch up on your sleep and relax a while. You're dismissed. Captain Verat, would you let us do it? What? Please? Rosie! I'll second that, if we may, Captain. <sighs> All right. I'll place Squad 7 in charge of this operation. The village in question has a large Darkson population. It's been raided time and again. Secure the village and its people's safety, and stop those hunters. Yes, Captain. We'll leave as soon as we can. Here we go. There we go. Straight to it. An end to Darskin hunting. Here is your mission brief. So, what well, looks like a little small map. We've got to fix the location of the Imperial Squad response for the Darskin hunting. The squad will take a position along the path. Once you see them pounce, wipe out the entire squad. Your objective is to neutralize every last soldier. Don't let any of them get away. If even one survives, it's only a matter of time before they come back. Even one survival will mean failure. Right, so kill them all. We've got 20 turns to kill them all. Right, well, we've got both of our tanks, and we've got Rosie has to come. Obviously, Alicia's going to come. Level 17. I want to get them up to level 20. Uh, we'll bring the wonderful Wivy. Pop himself there. We'll bring a sniper. Don't know how useful it will be, but we'll try it. She's useful. She can come. We'll bring Largo for the extra point. Um, who do we bring with us? We'll bring Vice. Bring Vice, and we'll bring another scout. Okay. So we're gonna wipe them all if out. There are no questions. Let's get started. I wish. Go. No need for that. I don't see any uh, sandbags or anything. The darks and hunts end here oh, and now. yes. Squad Come on, Welkin. Move out. Welkin, I'll sort it out. Come on, Welkin. Get going. Yeah, I don't see any uh, sandbags or anything on the map looking at it there, so they're hopefully not in too much cover. Right, so what have we got to fight? Awful lot of spots to hide around here. Yeah, they can hide, but that's yeah, it. Especially around those rocks. I can see a lot of unexpected run-ins happening. That's fine. Huh. Better believe they'll be running. I'm a damn shock trooper. Ah. Uh, All right. Let's begin the mission. Take out every last one of them. Oh, we will. So there we go. What have we got? Obviously, they can must as well skip here, here, and back here. There is an enemy tank, which we can deal with probably pretty quickly. I'd imagine if we try to charge the glam rock up here and deal with it. Uh, let's. We'll start with the glam rock then. Oh, does he only use one command point to move? That's oh, right. Pity we couldn't go through that gap, but we'll uh, move him around here. The map's pretty small, so. Can he? He could take out both these tanks, couldn't he? Hmm. <laughs> Good old glam rock here is going to be rocking it. 
Yeah, so we're gonna do two moves to the glam rock. Way ahead of you. Oh, he is taking up two points. I thought he only used one point last time. Enemy sighted. So by doing this, that's a nice easy win for us. That's their two tanks gone. Just keep up this pace. I'll fire him round this way so that he's uh not getting wrecked by that lancer. Uh, so we haven't so far unlocked nothing else. We know that there's a assault there. Can we snipe anyone? Because I mean, if we can snipe a couple of people, we might as well get them dealt with. So there's a dude hiding in here. He cannot be one shot. This guy over here, on the other hand, do we do our accuracy? Yes. There we go. I'm not done yet. I am very glad to hear you're not done yet, because it was nice of you to take that person out. We're gonna move over here though. Or you're at less threat of being taken out by anyone. Deal with the Lancer afterwards if needs be. That guy needs to be dealt with, but first of all, we need to get rid of that trooper. I think Let's do this thing. Rosie can deal with this guy. Do we could Rosie just take him out? Probably not. Go down. We better grenade him. Let's get him out of cover. And then next turn we'll take him out. So we've got three more points to move and we've got three guys. Hmm. Who do we target first? My turn, well, okay? I think it it's worth taking this guy out. Don't even think of dodging. Well, he's not that range. Um, with your accuracy, I don't think we needed to worry about him dodging. Right here. The world's better off with those oily dark hairs dead and gone, you idiots. Get in our way, and we'll be all too happy to send you to your next life. What an asshole. <laughs> Although, I mean, if they got that really bad. Uh, Hygiene and they've got oily hair, that's kind of sad. Right, we're going to run around here. So there's actually quite a lot of them hidden, then, by the looks of it. Shit, there's a load of them hidden. Right, we'll leave a leash up here at any rate just to help cover the tank. The guys that are down here shouldn't be able to hit them unless they run around. Now, that sniper should be dealt with. Those guys are in cover. Who do we go with? Do we run Weiss up? Leave it all to me. Let's get Weiss on the go as well. Today's the wrong day to mess with me. Getting him to come up won't be a bad idea. He won't be able to hit him from there. Or him. Yeah. Well, he can deal with him. There we go. And if we turn him around this way. He should get a shot off at those guys if needs be. We might end up losing him because that shock trooper there, but I'm hoping not. This could be an issue because our sniper could get it. Is it worth moving her? Leave back up to me. Yeah, we'll uh, deal with him and then we'll move her. So she'll take him out and run back down the hill a wee bit. I'm not done yet. Well, I'm very glad to hear that, Catherine. I'd rather her not be in a position where a shock trooper is going to come round the corner and take her out. So let's see how many movement points and all they have, and see what they do. Oh, looks like I have not turned off Steam. I have not set it to offline mode. Oh no, not the glam rock. Minor damage taken. For having minor damage taken, the glam rock button. What? Wow, well, um, they really made the most of their command points there. What the hell? Like, uh, Moving out. I don't know. Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Oh, yay. Uh, get him first. Good, right, he's out of cover, so we can now uh, do this to the important bit, which is run away. Uh, we'll actually run her around here just at the moment because she's kind of getting injured. I don't know if we want to use the points on orders, you see, whenever we can just 
hammer the living shit clean out of these guys. The friends at Largo's pointless now. We've taken out the two tanks. There might be more, but I'm not worried. Leave it to me. Let's get the glam rock on the go. We'll get ourselves turned around. So, do we do we just target him? It's sort of be funny to headshot him with that, but I don't think it would kill him. Um, yeah, we'll just see if the machine gun can take him out. Fire. There we go. That loses them another command point. Not that they're doing anything with it, so it shouldn't be a big issue. Why risk your hide for some dark hair? Why are these guys such assholes? Rule and those who obey. That's the way this world was made to be. It's the ultimate racist hunt right now. Uh, we'll run him over just so he's out of cover. And we're gonna fire the glam rock down here. Because as it says, they can withdraw. And if we're here, it means they can't withdraw, basically. Because we can run down here and stop them coming out this way. Right. So. Who's next? What do we do next? Well, at least you just wait there, because I don't want her to get damaged any more than she already is. I'll take care of it. Vice, could he possibly grenade this guy? Yeah. <laughs> so he can do that. Get him out of cover. Thanks, Vice. Vice versa. He's done his job. We then run him to here, and we'll take this guy out next turn. Uh, we shall get rid of this dude Let's with the thing. ever awesome Rosie. Oh, you! Shooting Rosie like that. Hi, dare you? There we go. Man down, I have a feeling shock troopers would have been more useful for this than relying on a lot of scouts just because of the uh, whole nature of everybody is actually hiding and crouching in the grass. There will be somebody here. I'm assuming there'll be somebody here. Um, we can't get a shot with anyone, so. We'll get Vice to finish what he's doing around here. Five shots still to kill him for headshots, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Does the T-Mag suck or something? No, I think the T-Mag's the one with extended mag. I thought that should do more damage than that, really. Right, well he's not in a position where he can get a few molt the edge, but the edge is about to get like totally fucking annihilated in a minute. Uh, sh we'll we'll rock we up with the Edelweiss. Gotta love nature. The Edelweiss has its uses, namely an increased payload, which is what it's going to do. Where are they shooting from? Uh, well, it doesn't matter where they're shooting from because the Edelweiss does not care. Is there anybody there? No, but now we know that there's nobody there, which is a useful thing. We have one more point to use. Do we use our one more point? Should we run a scout up? Where's the man himself? I'm on my Come way. on, Wivy. Come on, Wivy Seal. We might as well run you him around. Still, Whoa. So, we have a trooper there, and um, we have a dude there. Let's see what he can do. Come on. All good. Wivy, get on round. Uh, we're gonna move you back to here. Anybody coming around then he should be able to get a couple of shots off before they actually get to shoot at him. And that's turn two over. Wizen ring tree. Now, how many points do they use this time? Oh no, not the glam rock! Look at that, they've even got like a lancer hiding in the long grass. Well, we didn't really need to worry too much about him. Perfect, see? He came running out. Come on, reload. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yes. That's what we hoped for. There we go. We got ourselves in a good position where we were able to just shoot the hell out of that guy. Yeah, who are these guys? They just won't go down. Yeah, literally none of our guys no went down. Choice. Pull out. Everybody get out the best you can. I'm um, hoping you don't get out you at all. You know where to meet up afterwards. Once we all get there, the hunt's on. I uh, don't think they're going to get out. Smug bastards. They're making plans for their next hunt before they're even out of this. Sevens, we're hunting these cowards right back. 
Don't let a single one of them go. Damn right, Rosie. Rosie's freaking went buck wild here. Okay, so that now leaves us with optional extras here of what we're gonna do. We need to get rid of that Lancer. We need to get rid of this boy here, the Edge. He doesn't have anything that he can take him out with. Um, Alicia Lancer, does. Okay. So Alicia will deal with the Edge here first. Yeah. Bump! And that'll let Vice get onto him. Take that Edge. Uh, we move her to there. There we go. That'll keep his attraction on to Alicia. Whilst our vice here does the needful. The needful being a happening dude. Thanks for turning around at the right time. Uh, enjoy. Yes. So that's how we deal with the edge. Knock at the edge anymore, you son of a bitch. Where is he? Found a target. He did find a target. Thanks, Vice, for actually seeing him. So, we know that there's a guy there. Rosie's gonna deal with him. I'm on my way. I get wavy on the go again. Whoever he finds around here, he's going to... Enemy ...need sight. the fuck out of. Won't stop me. Prepare, yourself. Prepare yourself for the wavy. Good way of he being on the dodgeables there, he hasn't taken much in the way of damage. That's fine. Such attacks won't stop me. Yes, Wavy, we know you don't need to worry about it though. Damn, he took six. Oh, status, we're, our hit points are down. Oh, look at that though. Oh, Wavy, you don't fuck with Wavy, he just like, dodges you. We're gonna run on down here, see if there's anything else we need to see first New of all. Hostile, yeah, there is. Right, okay, so we know we've got another hostile there. We probably have somebody in here as well. This is likely the last guy in there to deal with. Um, he's already up. Entering combat. Right, we're going to... Uh, the Edelweiss won't be able to run him over though. Well, we, we, we can hit the guy who's in here, couldn't we? There's a guy in there somewhere. Uh, we can't reach him. I'm not worried about cover. There's a guy in there somewhere, surely. What side was he at? I can't remember what side he was at. Fire! We'll head about there, hopefully take him out. There we go. Perfect shot. He's out of cover now. Brilliant. That's what we needed. So, he's out of cover. He's out of cover. We've got three more moves that we can make. Wavy... Oh. Right. I'm on. We'll see what we can do. Damn it, attack down again. Fuck's sake. Go down. There we go. One more guy done and dusted. And we will get ourselves over here to deal with this one. If possible, we might actually run Rosie back up here to support Wavy. Hey, dude. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize you didn't like being shot in the head. No. Thought everyone enjoyed being shot in the head. Good. Crazy people who don't. Okay, so we are now in a position where I'm not worried about that Lancer. That Lancer should be dealt with. Vice, Vice should not have an issue there. And if it needs to be, Alicia can run around. This guy is the one we're more interested about. So, question is, do we need him? Yeah. That looks like that's a good idea. Just try dodging me. I don't think you can dodge this. One shot to kill it said. Well, that did not kill in one shot. I know it did not kill in one shot because I did it. And it didn't kill him. And that was one shot. At any rate. We should have grenaded him, but it just means we'll kill it next turn. We couldn't have finished it till next turn anyway, because we'll have the answer up there. I'm assuming this is the last two guys that are left. Oh no, not the glam rock. Under light fire. Yeah, see? He's not even worried about him. Yeah, well, he is. Zaka seems to be worried about everything in the world. Okay, so here comes another assault. He's coming out of the other wee area where we thought someone would be heading. Please get up. 
No, not with me. Oh, thank god, he only used that. Yeah, that's fine, we can live with that, okay. You shoot him back. Good boy, you shoot him back and teach him a lesson. And there's just another one coming out. Out of cover, perfect. And getting targeted by the Edelweiss. So, we've got four guys to get here. Strictly speaking, this shouldn't take too long. We need to deal with those two. Uh, is it worth hitting them with the uh, Edelweiss? Leave it all to me. Probably not. So, if I just, just annihilate that guy, I can't even annihilate that guy. We need to hit the grenade first. Enjoy, dude. So he took no damage from that whatsoever, but he's now uh, up and about and ready to get headshotted, which is more useful. We will Let's do this deal with this, dude. Yeah, why that was showing me a one-shot kill when it wasn't going to give me a one-shot kill, I don't know. Uh, we have you can deal with him. For all the hit points he has left, we can give him that. And we're going to run up here where she can assist against these two guys. Uh, we have you, you sir, shall do the needful. And uh, shoot that guy in the noggin. There we go. Your orders, sir. My orders, mate. Total baller mode. You will stop there. I mean, these two guys cannot move now without being totally annihilated. Uh, Vice, you will it. just finish this off right now, son. So, <laughs> shot in the head. Now you're dead. Good, good. There we go, Vice. The, the ultimate cowboy warrior with his yeehaws and whatnot. Right, I'll let him go as he is. So, if we, uh, I mean, uh, well, don't overthink it. it. There's no point in getting the Edelweiss. He can just run down here and kill them. Hey, dude. How's life? You can't dodge this. No, you can't. Sorry, man. <laughs> so, yeah, we're one issue done. We'll let Vice be our MVP yeah. this match and just kill everyone. You might as well. Let him show us his true quality here. I'll take care of it. Hey dude, we're gonna run slightly closer to you just to get even more shots on target. There we go. So with a bit of luck that should be everyone. I mean if they were trying to withdraw there shouldn't be anybody else hidden. Yeah, there we go. Go vice, go vice, go vice, go go vice. Operation complete. That's He's winning. Marvellous. Well done, Vice. The bronze arms of Gallia we got. There we go. Marvellous timing. And we got something that we don't want or need. Perfect. So, let's see, see, for every wish away. What does this pain hold for us? Oh no! You live in this village, kid? Where's your family at? The Imperials who came to the village before. They killed my parents. That's rough. Why do they all... Why do people hate us? Are they gonna keep hating us forever? It's because of your oily her. I'll tell you something. My town got hit by a hunt too. Really? A whole bunch of Darksons lived near me, see? And they burned the whole place down. My mom and little brother died in the fire. Holy shit. After that, I started hating Darksons too. Figured if it weren't for them, you know? Yeah, as I was going to say, that's like a little bit of a transference of her hatred from the people who I were responsible to the reason that caused it. She was the first real Darkson friend I had. It's a bit like American History X. <laughs> well, she like? except not as total How'd fucking crazy. Friends? Good film, though. She was but if you know what I mean in that, it's Ed, Ed Norton, isn't it? She was true. His character sort of starts hating and black people honest, based on the fact that his father had a job as a fireman and whatever way it was. It was... Was it positive? I can't remember the name of it. It's been a long, long time since I've looked at American history or American politics. Positive discrimination. That is the word. Uh, the idea of positive discrimination against it and affected his father's job or whatever it was. Was he a fireman or a teacher or something like that? I just remember it was affected from that. That all sort of stemmed from those issues of why he ended up uh, being a racist. Very, very good film though. I'd highly recommend it. Also really off topic. Building a world where Darksons and everybody else got along was always her big dream. 
I figure now it falls on me to make sure that happens. Do you know a way to get people not to hate us? If so, please, please tell me. I wish I did, kiddo. All I know is how to get things done my own way. Want to know my plan? When this war's over, I'm going to be a singer. A singer? Yeah. Songs sound the same to folks of all kinds. The feelings behind them get through. I'll keep singing until her dream comes true. That's my way of making her world happen. Go, Rosie. You should figure out your own way, kiddo. How I'd change the world? It's gonna become a terrorist. What do you well, say? I gotta get going. You too. Thank you very much. Tarskin boy involved in murder spree. He said Rosie told him to be what he wanted, and he wanted to be a murderer. Checking in. Let's see this. Oh. Hey, Sarah. I got something to report to you today. A while back, when we went to stop the hunts, I met a boy who'd lost his parents, right? Well, he sent me a letter. Said once I got to sing again, he'd come listen to me. <laughs> Good taste for a little squirt, huh? And he says he wants to become a doctor. Says that's his way of changing the world. Okay, to be fair, then he has picked a good profession. I'm not promising miracles, but we'll try, bit by bit. You just watch. Take it easy, Asara. I'll come again soon. So there we go. That is that one. Done in the dusteds. We shall do the parting ways. Uh, what do we like? 26 minutes. Parting ways isn't got any mission or anything in it. It's got three little pains to go through. So yeah, we should have time to run through this as well before we move on. No, oh, he's thinking. Sir, may I come in? <sighs> Crease, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? I'll crease. Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. Which I'm pretty sure you already knew. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It. See, he trusts Chris, but he didn't trust the medic who told him about the uh, rifle bullet. Tell me, Chris. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzet. Oh my God, Faldio! What? Faldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? Oh shit! It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered him. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzet and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Faldio? It couldn't be. How's to be Faldio? Plus, we already know that it is from previous episodes, but, you know, that's a different matter. Wilkin doesn't know that yet. Hey, Faldio. You in? Oh, shit. I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyrer. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Faldio, list of things to remember. Shoot Alicia, make her Valkyria. Number two, bring her a lance and a shield. Number three, have her wipe out the enemy. Alicia must be made to awaken. Hey, we're sort of right. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. The sleeper has no awakened. How much I try, I can think of no other way. <gasps> Muadib. Holy shit, the prescience is strong here. Join them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. What's well, good that you did? I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. 
That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. I don't remember seeing that, but... Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. <gasps> Truth bomb! Truth bombs are dropping. But this account told a different story. Oh shit! The Darkson's being persecuted for no reason. The Valkyrie invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous Darkson people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. Quite clearly they were, since they're still fucking use up and you've got tanks nowadays. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. What a bunch of dicks. History is written by the victors, though. Wrote the history books. Is it Delenda est Cathargo or Cathargo et Delenda? No, descendant Delenda et Cathargo? Carthage must be destroyed. Their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power. Rome wrote that victory. The Valkyria wrote this one. Come on, Faldio. Yet We're bombs. Time, I can't help but think of how useful it could be to us now. It could be useful. Yes, it could be very useful right now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. <gasps> if those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Yeah, except she wasn't one step shy of the end, you missed her organs and everything. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. Interesting to know how that happens and that works I scientifically. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Well, Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Thought it was one of the wrong people to ask. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyrie's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. They are attuned to it. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. Dick. But an awesome dick at that, because you saved everyone. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt. Hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. It was. Valdio! Oh shit. I don't know about going Valkyria, but he's about to go Super Saiyan on this guy's ass. He's fucking raging. Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Like that boy is so freaking afraid he's actually hiding his eyes. Hell, he could be using the force to walk around right now. He is a Jedi. Valdio, where is he? I sense his presence. Sir, Captain Verat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. Well, that too. This is when Welkin just literally just drives the Edelweiss in through the office and crushes Faldio. I don't know, that'd be pretty awesome, but I don't think it'll happen. Oh shit. Faldio, 
I'm only going to ask you this once. He's going to get a flirt to the face. Was it you who shot Alicia? Well, already knows the answer. Yeah. I shot her. Yeah. Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. However, it's not really current too much like this, yeah? I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. No, it doesn't. That's enough. Deterrent. Deterrent, Welkin, you need deterrent. Listen to each other. You may both be right. But still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. Twenty-four hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. Ah! You both got burned. I'll go over up nine down the law there on them. So there we go. That is it over. Chapter 15. Citadel Girlendio. Oh shit. Girlendio it is. Say, we're very near the end now. We're not too far away from finishing the game. We'll go through all that off screen. Uh, we'll do the discoveries battles, of course. So we've got quite a lot to run through here before we actually get involved in the battles. We'll probably run up to the next due to 4A, which is us basically getting up to the walls of the citadel and then 5a is us tearing into the citadel itself you will see what looks like a mushroom cloud in 6b there so that's probably going to be one or two episodes away and that mushroom cloud really is a mushroom cloud so yeah that's going to be a, a kind of issue but it, we'll, we'll worry about that when the time comes guys i'm going to save it here and we will be back in a day or two, hopefully, just whenever some of the other videos are up and done, and we'll get back around to posting this one up. But as I said, please do like and comment and subscribe. It does show your support for the channel, and it helps grow the channel, and it helps with the search rankings, which is always really important. So, everyone, I hope you're enjoying the series still, and we'll see you again real soon.